Welcome to The Rant. I'm your host, Herman James, and on today's episode, we'll be talking about irrigation irritation. All right, and on today's episode, we've got Russell here. Russell, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good. Russell just got back from a European vacation where he tried to hit the European poon and instead hit the European fucking friend door. How'd that go? There's no friend door. Who's friends? Actually, we're friends now. But <laughs> um, it wasn't a bad experience. It's just she was kind of a selfish lover, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she, he, Helga, Jewish oh. people. What do, you, what do you got over there? Um... So it was in Budapest. There was like a bunch of tourists and like some sort of European, like a mix of every European because of all the invasions and people traveling. They were originally like nomads that went south. Some people went north and whatever. And it's actually Budapest is two cities, Buda and Pest. And it's combined with the bridges making Budapest. And then that just happened. So Budapest, no Punapest. No Budapest. Yeah, so I was with this girl, you're talking. We went back to her place around two, three in the morning and we didn't have a condom, so we're like, fuck, all right, well we're still making out. We're we we're both naked. And I was like, You want sixty nine? She's like, Normally I would, but can you just go down on me? And I was like, Nah <laughs> not really <laughs> and like, who the hell works and doesn't get paid? So Black I, people. I, ended, I ended up like, just going down, but not going down. I fake chowder, like... The fuck is a fake chow? You ever see the movie Hall Pass? Yes. When he puts his, his head between her legs and just goes, like, puts, starts flicking his fingers and spits. And just, you know, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> So I fake chowder for, like, two minutes, and I just fucking left. Fucking A. Yeah. Had to go back, though, because I, I forgot my jacket or something. I forgot yeah. what it was. And a little bit of pride? And she opened it, I got to go back in, and I was like, all right, peace. Oh, that's great. All right, so uh, those of you that have been uh, paying attention and listening for the past few episodes, I do talk about how much DIY I like to do. Not DIY like fake chowder or tourist, but uh, DIY like do my own shit around the house and building and repairing things. Uh, The past few weeks, I have spent enormous amounts of time on digging ditches and repairing what I thought would be a quick and easy uh, sprinkler system. It turns out the people that lived here before us were fucking idiots. And like the previous episodes I've had on here for the undiying someone's fuck up or just inevitably stopping them from doing things they shouldn't do, no one stopped these fucking idiots from doing things. So instead of me having the ability to go and unscrew a sprinkler head, which if you're not familiar with how to do uh, irrigation systems, neither am I. But um, again, YouTube. I YouTube the fuck out of this. Now I'm an expert. Um, instead of having to uh, unscrew a few sprinkler heads and replace them with better ones, I had to actually physically take a fucking pickaxe and dig across my entire lawn, find all the sprinkler lines that they put in for irrigation, and found three buried sprinklers in the dirt. Um, I'm not sure if you know, Russell, uh, how sprinkler systems work. But I'm positive the sprinkler head buried underneath the soil isn't watering anything. And it makes my what should be semi-brown, semi-green lawn dirty, dirty brown. I look like a fucking white trash hillbilly lawn. Like I should have like a Ford pickup truck on my front lawn. Like a really old one? Well, yeah, because rednecks can afford new ones. That's very true. And this is like Texas redneck. They have like the nicest, newest ones. Well, yeah, because they fucking, their bloodline is linear. They're fucking... They're sisters. <laughs> they're sisters. <laughs> their aunt is their wife. And their cousin. And their cousin. It, it, the family reunions are great. You go there, find a new day, you get married and divorced the same day. And you keep the family truck. It was your dad's truck, your dad's dad's truck. Now it's your truck. Soon your son's going to be born in that truck. Then it's going to be his truck. It's great. Your dad's dad's probably you're still your dad. Yeah, fucking old rebuild dodge. Daddy, grandpa. <laughs> Dampa? White folks is wild. <laughs> you crazy doing all that. Yeah, you still let them fucking take your people on a boat. Yo, whoa, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> they were sold and all that other crap. And yet, 
the white folks still fuck their cousins. So who's smarter here? You know what? That's what they say. If I'm an f- idiot and you're following me, who's the bigger idiot? Lemmings. Wait, who's Lemmings? Is you ever play Lemmings? Wait, what? Lemmings. Remember, there was a... I know what lemurs are. Well, yeah, that's entirely different fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Lemmings, that was a, it was an old video game. And you're like, trying to dig like a ditch to get out. And you have like a following of Lemmings behind you. And you dig, and if you fall off the cliff, they all follow behind you because they're fucking idiots. And if you win, then they all follow behind you. The more you can get to follow you and win, the the easier you go. I think I played a game like that called Pikmin. It was on the GameCube. Yeah, it's 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 basically a version of Lemmings. Lemmings was a I was it eight bit. Yeah, it was old eight. I think it's old eight bit game. It was out. That was like after Oregon Trail came out, the big floppy disks and shit. That was like the next big thing was like Lemmings. Honestly, I don't think I've ever played Oregon Trail. It's because you're fucking born in 1998. Douche. I'm born in 1998. 91, motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you were going to say 88 for a second. I was like, nah, I'm not no. that old. No, but who got carded last night? I got rejected <laughs> twice yesterday. It's, it kind of hurt. It kind of sucked. Oh, that's awesome. I, I don't think I've ever been rejected for booze. I was buying booze when I was like 18. You look 30 when you're 12. Yeah, it was good then, and I still look 30, and I'm 34. I'm all right with it. Yeah. I just stay that age, like Asians. But, uh... Asians so, age really bad sometimes. No, they, they're they really, really good for a long time, and then, like, one day you wake up, like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, same thing like Russian chicks. They're, like, tall and hot, and I don't know where they shrivel up, and they got a hunchback, and yeah. they're wearing a fucking bandana thing. Yeah, then they're fucking going to mimosas with the Asian lady with the fucking face mask on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There was a lot of that in Europe. Like, face masks, uh, or? like if you have the Asians that were there were wearing face masks. Isn't like a thing where like you stretch your balls over her mouth? I'm not sure if that that is, but when you stretch your balls, it's called a bat wing. <laughs> Speaking of bat wings, no, not had nothing to do with bat wings. So <laughs> the dirt was fucking killing me for these fucking sprinkler heads, and yeah, you're not supposed to bury them underneath the dirt. You're supposed to be protruding, so they can and then shoot. Everywhere. I feel like you just came. Dude, who comes like that? <laughs> I feel like you would. If anyone would, like, I'm out. But uh, it took me a week to find all the lines, find all the sprinkler heads, dig them out, and then I turned the sprinkler system on for the first time in a year. And as I turned it off, the sprinkler valve, which is where the computer component, the CPU basically is in, and allows the water to transfer through a membrane, which goes to sprinkler heads. When you turn it off, that's called current stops, closes the gate, no water gets through. So those are the valves. Well, the valve was broken because the diaphragm hadn't been used in a year. By the way, diaphragm is also old ladies' condoms, so if they haven't used in a year, they're going to burst. That's an FYI for you young people trying to fuck cougars that probably have diaphragms. Run. Wait, lady condoms? Yeah, you never heard about lady condoms? No, I've, uh, yeah, I heard about them in a uh, health class in middle school. Yeah. And I was like, what chicks have condoms? Like, they're huge. No, they're not fucking huge. He had his hand the size of his fucking head. Like, they're like, he was thinking of like a dental dam. That, 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 no, that's it's like a little plastic, and he pushed it in. It's like, it was like this. No. They're like fucking little cups. Okay, that's a different girl condom than what the hell it showed <laughs> us, man. Because I remember just thinking, like, they look like a fucking heap, like an icy hot pack. Yeah, those big ones like that, those were, back when I got the same education, were dental dams. It's so when you fake chow a chick, you don't actually put your tongue to clit. You lick fucking rubber like a fucking asshole. Or like a bondage person. No, you fake chow, you don't lick at all. You just kind of flick your fingers in front of your mouth like it's the tongue. (laughs) Well, at the dental dam, you just be flicking the fucking bean through fucking, uh, what is that, fucking latex or fucking rubber like someone's fucking waterbed. But, uh, yeah. yeah, now I got to smell my fucking mouth. Wait, well, how did this, what? You... <laughs> <laughs> smell like latex and rubber? Oh, you say, no, I got nothing. Yeah, see? You, I, You're just imagining it too hard. It's not hard yet. That's mine over matter. <laughs> I don't mind it. You don't matter. But, uh, because the diaphragm broke, the water was leaking in the actual irrigation system. And I came out the next day, and there's a big ass wet spot in the middle of my lawn, like someone might have pissed the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
I had to dig that out to find out there's a massive crack. And they use shitty PVC. Um, I don't know anything about grades of PVC. And they use, uh, they're called um, 150 grade or whatever the fuck it is. It's probably the thickness of the plastic. It is, but I would have thought the higher the number, the bigger the thickness, you know? Apparently it's wrong. Like, you want to use like 40 or 80. These guys use 150. I'm like, 150? That's almost double the fucking 80. That's bomb. No, it's super weak. It's shitty. So I had to dig that out, cut that piece, put a new piece together, and fucking figure that whole thing out, like basically coupling it together. Mind you, again, I've never done this. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I had a friend of mine come over to help me out and uh, participate in the rebuilding of irrigation system. And as soon as I figured that one out, we dug out where they have about five or six in a row that were all on fucking two foot stilts because they didn't put them into the ground, but they ran the shitty fucking plumbing all the way across it to find out that that one broke too. And instead of actually doing it right and clipping the PVC, getting a new plastic coupler, then you glue it on each side and you fucking, and then you devil's triangle the coupler. Okay. You know, you Kavanaugh it. You put the fucking two dicks in each side of the fucking coupler. Yeah, it's a spit roast. Spit roast. Oh, Chinese what? finger trap. Yeah, that too. Yeah. And that pushes together and the glue sticks once you crank it like a half or a quarter uh, turn. These guys took the plastic coupler and instead of gluing it, they just spit on it and then just sat it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so most people do. Yeah, I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't fit. You spit on it, but spit on it doesn't get it to hold. So that was leaking out like a motherfucker too. And then at the end of that line, they had another sprinkler that was on an elbow. And I went to grab that one after I dinged out to change the sprinkler. And the fucking elbow falls off. So I didn't glue that one either. So the entire system with the three buried sprinkler heads, the three holes, the sprinkler that wasn't attached, was literally held together by what this country likes to say, hopes and prayers. Because that's the way fixing fix things in this country. Hopes and prayers. <laughs> uh, someone just shot your family? We hope and we pray for you. Good job. Fuck you. The worst is, like, I do not want to be memorialized on a fucking car window. I wouldn't mind that. It's also, like, a it's also like a, a driving hazard. Like, the big ones, that like, and they have all the flowers, like, on the back windshield. I'm like, get, like, maybe a little something on the corner. Well, it's, like, the fucking people that have those, they have no clue who that fucking person was. Like, it's like, oh, I went to high school with Susie K. She was great. You don't fucking know Susie K. Fuck Susie K. She probably died sucking dick. She probably died happy. Or she probably died pissed off because she sucked dick first and didn't get chowed out. Or someone fake chowed her and she knew and she was pissed. Died of fucking anger. That's what she has for being a selfish bitch. <laughs> Susie K sucked it. So that's where I am with that. That took me just diagnosis and figuring all that shit out took me a week. On top of my everyday work and commute to and from work and home life. And that sucks. That was fucking manual labor. It was 80, 90 degrees. And just literally just pickaxing and digging and figuring all that shit out. On top of that, these guys have three valve systems for a lawn that needs two. One valve ran one sprinkler. And the other valves ran five each. So you don't have to know anything about sprinklers. No, that's fucking retarded. I had to replumb the entire system and that took longer than it would have if I would have just dug it out and done it from scratch myself and I don't know what the fuck these guys were thinking like logically in your head I would assume you would think that attaching everything to one valve and one long pipe would be easier than attaching Multiple pipes to multiple things, multiple angles all over the place. Again, I don't know about irrigation and plumbing and lawn shit. I'm not Mexican. I'm a white dude. And if you ask Bobby Moto, I'm a privileged white dude. Because I still have my fucking towel drying rack in my office here. Like, hella privileged. I don't know fucking irrigation. I'm not a Jesus. I'm not a Hose B. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But what I do know is they fucked up. And I had to do more work to get it done. It also comes at a very costly, labor-intensive price to me. All in for my whole system, I'm out 
if I highball it, 400 bucks. But I'm out about a month in labor of my own fucking sweat labor. When's the last time you came home from work and pickaxed your own front lawn? I don't think many people own pickaxes, dude. They do in the South. They own pickaxes and those fucking tiki torches that they riot fucking other people with. Yeah, nobody threw tiki parties for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you go by a bunch of tiki torches. Everybody's like, oh, you fucking racist. <laughs> He's like, I just want to have a fucking Hawaiian theme party. <laughs> a luau shirt and shit, but because you're a white, like, mm, we ain't doing it. You got the one checker, the, the black checker, like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you must have shopping at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, but those are always like black tattooed women or old Asian ladies or old white chicks with no teeth. Like, Yo, but sometimes the Walmart pants be looking good on a girl, though. Some of the females be looking ah. bad. It's like, damn, she got that Walmart booty. <laughs> The fuck is a Walmart booty? It's like though sometimes the pants just be hugging that ass and like you see that ass like the Walmart by my house, dude. There's like there's like two or three hot Russian chicks there and it's like just amazing asses. Just, wow. <laughs> my favorite thing about Walmart, besides the Walmart people in general, I, I I don't like the general public or people in general, but uh, I think my favorite part about Walmart has to be, like I said, the people that the Workers there that look to be fucking degenerates. And if you work at Walmart, you're probably a degenerate. Let's be honest. Hey, my friend's mom works at Walmart. She's a very nice lady. She's probably done some questionable things and made some questionable things. She choices. does make uh, fucking turns on left, like left turns and it's red. It's like, <laughs> like she's like, there's no fucking cars. She'll fucking go. It's the scariest thing ever. Like we're in high school and it's fucking bitches. Oh, sure, she's not a bitch. Pardon me. But... <laughs> She's fucking going. She's fucking crazy. Is she black? No, nah, she's Mexican. No, nah, that's close enough. But is she legal? Barely. Barely. She's married in? Like I said, like she, like she would hide from Trump. Ah, uh, see, ice. Do you think people think run away from residency. Vanilla Ice? Vanilla Ice? Yeah, kids come ding, 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 ding. No, dude, he does ice, rock music ice, now. Baby. That's why he got all buff. But he's still young ice. Yeah, he goes, ice, ice, baby, oh. Yeah, but imagine being a Mexican Emo. and someone yells ice like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be playing vanilla ice all the time at fucking like Home Depot. <laughs> I'd just drive through there just blasting vanilla ice. That'd be fucking great. But, uh, yeah, the people that work there, like, they appear to be degenerate, whatever. And Walmart theoretically pays people pretty well. I mean, what, they're they're part of that $15 an hour bullshit deal. You just tell people in this fucking country, like, oh, I don't... Wait, the I, fuck? I, yeah. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. And they get benefits. And I think some places... Wait, did McDonald's get that shit too? Yeah, that's why they replace everything with fucking oh, tellers. Oh, okay, yeah. I yeah, saw push, that. Push ones. Yeah. So you want it? Right. You got it. Dripping like water. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of dripping like water, the fucking irrigation system, I got the whole thing dug out. I got everything replaced. I got everything set to where it's got to go. And then I pulled the typical me... And I ordered two of the wrong sprinkler heads. I need ones that go 270 degrees. I've got a 90 degree turn on my walkway. And I needed the sprinklers to go in both directions like your mom. And get that. And I got ones that didn't go that far. Like your dad. And then... <laughs> like the nod. Yeah. Huh? yeah see, and no so... Uh, <laughs> that's why they're divorced. Yeah. But... uh. I ended up having to wait longer to get that shit coming in. So by the time that came in, everything worked right. By the way, I didn't know this to adjust sprinklers. I got, um, what the fuck did I get? They're MP rotators. Um, it's like a special tool, right? N- they need a tool. But these are by Hunter. This is not a product fucking promotion drop. And it just, what the fuck I bought. Um, but if you want to go to thehermanjames.com, they will be on there, and you can buy them, and I will get a kickback. That's a good thought. But uh, yeah, they're, hu- they're Hunter MP rotators. So what that is, is they use little less water than a regular sprinkler does, and they are directional. You can pick and choose exactly where they want to go at, the height, the length, and the uh, actual angle. So anywhere between like 90 to... Uh, 360 degrees. You can go wherever you want to get to. So the ones you can just like grab and like turn? Yeah. 
Yeah, like at schoolyards, we used to turn them around on different ways and like spray at the teachers' doors and like spray at the kids and they walk by so the sprinkles turn on. They never went towards the grass. They just like would hit people fucking walking by and shit. We were assholes in middle school, dude. Every kid did it. This is you see them like honestly they're up and you just turn them. So then they'd go back down and then eventually when they went back up, boom, instant bystanders just get their shit fucked up. As funny as that is that is a fucked up thing to do for sure. <laughs> That's why the sprinklers in my like elementary and junior highs were never near the fucking classrooms because there's no there's no grass in the classrooms. There's always walkways. Oh no, we had a hell of grass grass everywhere. I said class, grass <laughs> everywhere. Fucking elementary school in the hood, broken glass everywhere. Call that glass. Get a glass. Show us me it. Fuck it, I'm out. Here's the forty. Sidewalks there was is people dropping their forties across <laughs> the street was actually like a gangster crack house. It was the pretty much the trap house. Fuck. Yeah, lots of Norteños. And just like a lot of kids would go over there, buy smoke, buy weed, smoke weed. You have some beers and go back to school. We were fucking in third grade. What are you doing buying fucking weed and beers? No, we were like we were 12, 13. It was middle school. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I think they're some are actually banging some of the chicks too. I'm like, dude, they're like 13 year olds. It's yeah, but they just cool. got out of like sixth grade, they're 13 years. That's where they, they stopped education. No, and then it goes like gang banging. They're like, yeah, I think there's like 20 year olds there, dude. Yeah, but they, they literally stopped education in like sixth grade so you got your minimum education now you can speak and you can write like a fucking idiot now get to the corner sell me some crack sell me some bam or weed get me some fucking hookers and bang the rich white girl treat education i know rich white girls in my bro <laughs> actually there were there, was a lot. <laughs> there, there, there were a lot two nearby <laughs> surrounding areas yeah, and they all spun it. A lot of the rich girls. I was like, damn, dude. Where See? these rich women at? Some yeah. are Asian, some are white. I was like... Bitches love gangsters. I mean, I should know. I'm a six foot one white guy. Hella gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Driving a Subaru fucking wagon. How much more gangster can I get? Sometimes a bitch want to get hit like Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> you dropped like she was hot. Because she was. That's what happens when I think you don't make a fucking breakfast. It's kind of funny how coincidentally, like that song, like Chains and Whips, came out. I like, got right after she got her ass beat. Like maybe they just got really into sex, and like he's like, she's like, hit me, motherfucker, and he like <laughs> he like really well, hit her, and she got pissed off about it. Well, the thing is, it couldn't have been as bad as Harden. Do you remember seeing that hit from the football player? In, oh, in the yeah, Vegas no, elevator. Jesus, he drop fucking dead, drops dude. her in the elevator. And then, oh my God, yeah, that was. Holy shit. She fell into my fist. Like, what are you fucking doing? Like, and he only got penalized from the NFL for what? Six games, if that. And then went back to making millions of dollars. If I do, if I get fucking drunk in public and my company finds out about it, I'm fucking fired. This fool right cross this bitch and come back to work. Dude, and it's an NFL player. That's a lot stronger than your everyday human being. Yeah, he fucking laid her for Big, sure. Big, heavy hands. Yeah, fucking crazy. All right. Uh, time to make a little bit of money here. Let's uh, play a quick commercial. We'll be right back for you. This part of the podcast is brought to you by Blue Apron. If you're like me, you hate shopping. You hate trying to find out what you're going to cook for the day. Blue Apron's nice. You can go on their website, pick out what you want to have for that day, that week. It comes to your door. Everything is there for you. It's in a cooler. You got to pick and choose what you're going to have that week. You can set things up, set up for a date, whatever you want to do. Blue Apron's the shit. It works out very well for you. I've had it numerous times. I enjoy it. It's just enough food for me, the girl, and then we can have enough leftovers for the next day. If you want to get in on some Blue Apron discounts, go to thehermanjames.com. That's the hermanjames.com go to the products and special tab hit uh, that one up over there you'll get 40% to $50 off your first two boxes as well as the three meals for free again go to Herman James the hermanjames.com and order up some blue apron get set up for this week get set up for a date and uh, be set up for some food it's a good way to go for it and you don't have to deal with the general public fuck lines So I didn't know that in order to adjust sprinkler heads, and unlike you being able to actually pivot the sprinkler head and it fucking hitting the door and hitting someone in the head, the sprinkler heads that I bought don't 
rotate and like the like that like they're not like the arm ones or like the fucking what that is a sprinkler in the fucking dance move it's you turn a screw on it and it opens up little ports so water shoots through those ports so it either can shoot all 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 360 it just goes in succession like around at the same time so now i open up to that but i didn't know that in order to adjust the range and the arc of a sprinkler that shit has to be on like yeah the sprinkler system has to be going for you to adjust it so i I didn't know you see it i guess right well i thought like you would see it turn it off counterclockwise clockwise like that you would adjust the things that way turn it back on say i was going micro adjust no 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 you can't do that shit like you have to physically turn that shit on as it's on you have to change it now theoretically that sounds like not a big deal like cool just walk around your lawn except my lawn is only open on one side on the other side it's closed off by the fence in the house which means I have to walk through the center of all the sprinklers <laughs> to adjust this shit. I look like the most fucking idiotic person in the world. Like, the sprinklers are on. I'm putting my face in the sprinkler. I'm trying to adjust it to go. Like a dog trying to bite the hose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this is fucking horrible. The first night I did it, it was like getting dark. I can't see shit anymore. And I'm that fucking guy that looks like white trash now. Because... I'm in full jeans. I'm in like work boots and springs are pelting me in the chest. (laughs) And I'm just standing there on my lawn making sure they're at the right angle. Like it's fucking ridiculous. So I'm curious like what my neighbors thought of me. Like, oh, fucking idiot. He's He's drunk. He's doing crack. (laughs) (laughs) Is there AC out? Because he's just standing in the sprinklers. So you didn't think they could get like a poncho or? No, I'm not Mexican. Who the fuck has a poncho? Hell of white people got ponchos. The only person with a poncho at the last beer fest in Sacramento was my white friend Pat. And he bought a dollar store poncho. He's like, this thing's going to protect me from everything. It didn't because it's a dollar store poncho, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, no, fuck no, I didn't have a poncho. But I did white trash wisen up the next time because I didn't get through all white the sprinklers. White trash and wisen up? I got white trash wisen up. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sprinklers on my front lawn, and not bad. But uh, I had to adjust them all to get the right angles and stuff. And I'm like, fuck this! I'm not gonna get fucking drenched in my jeans and shit. I'm gonna be smarter than this. I put on board shorts. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to go. <laughs> like. Goggles and shit. Fucking <laughs> snorkel. <laughs> snorkel. <laughs> you got that swimming, you're gonna go real crackhead at that. You're nervous and be like, what the fuck is up with this guy? White boy got that meth again. Like, doesn't he have a pool in his backyard? <laughs> Hella fucking white privilege. Like, he's in the front yard in board shorts and a snorkel with his face in a sprinkler. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Irrigation, bitch. How do you do yours? You hire the Mexicans. I'm too cheap. I do it myself. It took me give or take 15 minutes, probably about an hour to get the sprinklers all to align right because I didn't want to overdo things like waste water. So I put the timer on for three minutes. So I turn the timer on, then I have to run in the middle of the lawn, find the sprinkler I was working on, adjust that one to get like the right like degrees of fucking spray and arc for distance and trying to ring everything in. And then by the time I just get it right, they fucking recede back in. They fucking turtle head back in their fucking shell. And I turn the bitch back on to start back over again. Like, it was ridiculous. Again, I've never done this. I watched YouTube. Fucking A. I had no clue, like, how to get the sprinkler heads themselves because they're inside the bodies. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't use the fucking flathead screwdriver to turn it. Why it wouldn't spray in the right direction. Because it would kept spraying my front fucking door. Like it just, I put it in there, turn it, it wouldn't go. And I didn't want to like break it by like actually twisting the neck. And apparently that's exactly what you had to do. I learned 
everything I had to learn about these sprinkler heads from a 12 year old on YouTube. Like how bad does it make you feel when all this shit you learned is by a 12 year old on YouTube? I'm a grown ass man. Watch a 12 year old teach me how to fucking install an irrigation system. I mean, it's not that bad of a thing. Not, you don't know everything. Some people know different things. Might be a 12 year old, might be a fucking 90 year old. I mean, it was my a parents always asked white me, boy. like, hey, fix my fucking computer. And it's like, all right, let, let me go for your computer because they're in their fucking 40s or whatever. And I was like 15. But like, yeah, I know about the technology. So, I mean, but something they didn't know about, something you didn't know about, you just gotta learn. Don't take it as like a, damn, I feel like a dumbass. It's just something you didn't know. Somebody else learned it. A lot of people know about that stuff. I'm surprised a 12 year old knew about that because. I got to play the sprinkler shit when I was younger, but I was told, just dig here, dig here. It's one of the few times I was able to play in the dirt. Yeah, but see, you got a young education and integration into what was going on, how to do that kind of stuff. I never had that shit. When I was a kid, we rented pretty much all of our houses, and then my parents bought a house when I was in sixth grade. But I couldn't tell you if we actually had an in-ground sprinklers, I don't even think we did. I, I don't remember that ever being a thing for us. It was Petaluma. Like, it rained, it was foggy, you didn't have to water anything, it did it by itself. We had green grass, we never watered shit. Every now and then they put the sprinkler on the hose and you threw it in the middle of the lawn and then we left it there for like four months and just walk out, turn it on, and then turn it back off, you never reel it back in. No, I look like an like, agricultural paradise, man. It was Salinas. <laughs> yeah, it's like just, they call it the salad bowl. Because a lot of vegetation and, shit and stuff is growing there. Just kind of spread it and toss it? Yeah, you can spread it, toss it, do what you want with it. <laughs> Throw some ranch on there. <laughs> There's no vinaigrette. I never heard about vinaigrette until I came to SAC. That would burn. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a there's Italian dressing, but not vinaigrette. No one's putting some vinaigrette in the toss in a salad. That's gross. But, uh... Yeah, it... It took me another week or so to get the sprinkler heads in and get them all the correct angles and trajectories, all this bullshit to get that done. So that's all said and done. Two weeks of me cursing the old owners of this house about their fucked up, retarded redneck bullshit about how they fucked this up, fucked that uh, bad repair of this. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Dude, this is America. Couldn't you have like called somebody and like sued them for... For doing a shitty job or doing illegal fucking work or something. I don't know. You, I don't know like, how that you works. think you could have, but it's even better that it's America and from this house it is one point five miles to Home Depot. You could have just picked up a work crew. They would have fucking put the entire system in for a hundred bucks. Or a bag of Doritos. Do Mexicans eat Doritos? You'd be surprised. We do eat a lot of Doritos. But you're a black Mexican. Yeah. There's always papas. Dude, you go to a place, a party, there's a bunch of chips. Cheeps. Yeah, but I've been to Mexican parties, and there's never been Doritos. There's tortilla chips and homemade salsa. No, there's Doritos. Some white-ass Mexican friends. No, man. This is a family. <laughs> <laughs> they brought Doritos. They wanted Doritos. Fucking crazy. Nothing, no, no, no crazy flavors. Just the, just the red ones. Just the red ones. No, the, no sometimes Fiesta Doritos? The, so, sometimes you get the, sometimes you get the green ones. The Chile Verde. The Chile Verde ones, yeah. Other than that, it's Chile Verde or the, re, or the red ones. Or Ruffles. And Lay's. Those are the only chips you would find at those parties. And, of course, your traditional tortilla chips. Yeah, I was going to say, our Mexican friends bring us some shitty Mexican tortilla chips. We have some good ones, like the real Mexicans that make like real salsa and shit. They bring over like real, like good chips, but you get like fake Mexican friends and they get like the dollar bargain bag, like the bottom shelf shit. You get like yeah. Lucky's and you don't know what Lucky's is, go fuck yourself. But, uh, you don't know what Lucky's is, do you? No. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't fuck Actually, yourself, yeah, I might've been the one in Louisiana when I was younger. Yeah, I think they converted it to like Albertsons and then they came back as a lucky. Yeah, okay, yeah, I definitely was at one of in yeah. Louisiana. And so they got that kind of stuff, but... That and a Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly. Isn't that from fucking Simpsons? 
Uh, I think most people refer to it from uh, Pootie Tang. Pootie Tang. Pootie Tang. Talk about a bitch. He's like, he said, uh, his dad got that belt. Like, got that for a dollar ninety nine at Piggly Wiggly, son. Don't make that make you. <laughs> that was a great movie. It was oh. an awesome movie. Still dipping up the rainy time. <laughs> so you got these fucks. Fucked this thing up royally on the initial install. And then fucked up the repairs. And I have everything in. And I think I'm done. And I'm good to go. And I'm like, all right, great. So what I'm going to do is rake in microtill because I can't put a blade in the ground too deep because they didn't bury the sprinkler system deep enough where if I till it, which is a blade in the ground that spins the dirt up, it's not going to break the fucking system again from their fucked up initial install. So I rake everything up and I'm starting to like weed. And there are these fucked up weeds that are the girth of... My thumbs, probably about two of your thumbs combined. And... <laughs> I had to check. I definitely had to check. Like, hold on. And then they sprout up, like, the best way to describe this audibly would be if you were to take the pictures of being a kid when you have your hands on your chin and your fingers are, like, on your cheeks, like, you're laying on your stomach and you have like your fingers spread out basically it's your two palms together with your fingers spread out like moose antlers like they're fucked up looking weeds and they were all over my lawn and that took me another week to pull on top of that there were small sproutlings mini trees coming out of my lawn so i want to pull these weeds and pull these trees out well the trees were attached to roots. The roots were there from when the original owners of this house were here. They apparently had two or three other trees in my front lawn that they cut and probably did some stump grinding but didn't take out the root system. I pulled one tree up and the root went six feet in another direction, six feet in the opposite direction, and six feet behind me. I just pulled this up and just walked out. It was the worst gym workout I've ever had because I'm just yanking it the entire time. It's like you're trying to fucking jack off Sasquatch. Like, it is fucking awful. And, again, it took me another week to weed and de-root and de-tree my fucking front lawn. You've seen my lawn. Does it look nice? No. It looks like shit. I mean, it's, it's always looked like that. Yeah, it's, I'm <laughs> it's been a shitty lawn as yeah. far as I've... As it's it's I've never been place. nice. It, it's never been good. I mean, the spring system didn't ever really work here. When we bought the house... I didn't think it had one. Well, that too. But when we bought the house, it wasn't great. And when we moved in, we had a green front something. It wasn't the front yard. I mean, it wasn't a lawn... It was green weeds. That's all it really was. It was just green weeds and thatch. And we're fine with that because in pictures, you can't fucking tell. You should have got like some chicks, like should have had chicks, like you should have had them pay you to take Instagram pictures in the field of grass, you know? <laughs> Get up all the fucking thorns stuck in them and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and weed splinters. <laughs> all of them great ass crack fucking pictures. Like, ah. Yeah, no, chicks, chicks travel all over like, the whole world to fucking go take Instagram pictures. Or you could just go into your front yard. You find some of them. I got a pool in the backyard and I got free time. Why the fuck am I just now hearing about this? Yeah, no. Oh, dude, Budapest. We went to the bathhouses. <laughs> and you see boyfriends just taking pictures of their girlfriends. Because they're asking, get this angle, that angle. And they go show them. Like, no, go back and take more. It was ridiculous. Where are the pictures? Like, Why don't you have pictures of that? I'm not taking pictures of chicks. I'm enjoying the Wait, fucking bathhouses. Are you taking pictures of dudes? Houses. No. Pictures <laughs> of buildings. Wait. So instead of naked chicks, you took pictures of buildings. There's no naked chicks. There's a lot of old dudes and like there's quite a few hot chicks at those bathhouses. But I had my phone on me. They made me leave everything in the locker room. Then how'd the boyfriend get one in there? Because they were smart enough to not leave them in the locker room. <laughs> and I was I didn't have a girlfriend to tell me, hey, take pictures of me at the fucking bathhouse so other dudes will jack off on Instagram to them. <laughs> you weren't even on Instagram. You were in the bathhouse jacking off. No. Because the bathrooms <laughs> are very dirty. I don't want to fucking UTI. Dirty about even more? Ah, that's ridiculous. They're very nice bathhouses. I, I'll, I'll take your word on it. I mean, there's some bathhouses here from a few stories I've 
heard from some unnamed people I've talked to here. There's some interesting bathhouses in Sacramento. There's Russian ones and some Asian ones. Are they natural though? I don't know what you mean by natural. I think like the, the natural spring water like was there. Fuck and no. You just funnel that shit and like yeah. See, these we went to like actual like they're like well known for that shit. No, like, these are just hookers in a bathtub. So there was not really hookers. <laughs> you can't get massages. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna massage. The sex is optional. A little bit. <laughs> no, it's actually very professional, and there's like, it's like there's like no flirting allowed, and it's like don't try to, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to end up in Auschwitz. <laughs> actually, Hungary is like they actually there's a building called the House of Terror. I thought it was a fucking theme park or like it was like a scary <laughs> shit. Like there's like a monster going at you. No, it was a fucking Nazi. Like, the, the original camp. The, the original like no, it was in the camp. It was like the original Nazi club. Uh, like, where, like where they were like founded and shit and it's whatever it's called the house of terror and they actually took people into the basement to torture them you can see there's like blood stains and stuff and like there's a bunch of historical things that's the like part of the group went to go see that and I was like oh well now that I know it's not monsters I'm not gonna go to it I'm like I'm gonna get drunk and party and like go see this other like <laughs> I'm bus out. tour history I'm out no, I'm done I did I, I learned a lot of history it was actually really fun and really interesting too I did a bunch of Tourist things when I was in junior high, we went to Germany, Austria, the whole area over there. We did a lot of the uh, yeah. that kind of sightseeing like and history tours stuff. And stuff and yeah, we did a lot of stuff too. Like, it was interesting, like, but um, yeah, I, I, I going back as an adult would be different because uh, I could pick and choose what I want to do and drink. Drinking would be what I do. Yeah, that, that's kind of fun. It's more expensive it. as an adult. Well, yeah, because you have to pay for it. As a kid, you don't pay for shit. Yeah, yeah, you don't. <laughs> But, uh, so, these fucks on my front lawn, they tortured that like it was a Jew in fucking Germany in World War II. Yeah, I know it was a low blow, but fucking get over it. But, uh... It's still a fresh wound, man. Fresh wound. Yeah, because Trump's in office. Oh. But, um, by the time all things are said and done, now I, I, another week has gone by, and I've done all that shit to it. I, again... Know nothing about irrigation or lawn maintenance or botany or landscape. I fucking hate landscape. I fucking hate it. Landscaping is not my thing. It's not relaxing. It's not a zen thing for me. It's fucking horrible. I hate it because I want instant results, but I'm too cheap to pay for shit for instant results. So that being said, I didn't get sawed. Um... My soil in the front yard is so beaten and toxic and fucking ridiculous. There's no way it can hold life. It's just just wrong. And so I ended up watering that for another week. And then I bought some Scott's like four-in-one seeds. Like water, drought resistant. So when it grows, deep, thick, rooted, blah, 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 blah. And all you guys that hate Monsanto... I don't give a fuck. For a small bag, it's like fifteen dollars. For sod, it's like nine hundred for my front lawn. Fifteen, nine hundred. Fifteen, nine hundred. I'm going with the fifteen from some fucking bear. That's right, bear bought Monsanto. So there you go. And um, I did that. I ended up buying like a fifteen, a fifty pound bag, and spread it around my fucking front lawn. And as of today, if you look at it, you can see little sproutlings kind of going out there, little greeneries kind of showing up. And that's just from this weekend, so that's not too bad. And I, I'm i okay with that. That's not bad for me. So, I mean, the cost difference of $15 versus 900 is great. I mean, all things said and done, the larger bag I bought, it cost me about 50 bucks, And that's because one set of seating down, and it says it will start sprouting within six to eight days. It takes 30 to 60 days to grow a full lawn. But I'd probably have to reseed it in between there or afterwards. 60 days? Fill. Yeah. 60 max. That's a long time for grass, man. It is. But here's a would you rather. <laughs> All right. Would you rather pay $50 to wait and see if the grass is going to grow? Or would you rather pay a thousand dollars and hope the grass stays alive. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like a month of savings right there. Yeah. No. It's like thirty days, but yeah, screw that. Might as well wait and see. 
Yeah, because worst case scenario, I just reseed and keep watering. Yeah. And then it'll grow. And it's a fraction of the price. Yeah. And I start the same lawn in the long run. I hate the fact I've got to wait and watch because I like instant gratification. Unlike premature ejaculation. I saw a guy get ejaculated from a car once. What the fuck? Yeah. He used wrong terminology. He meant ejected, but he said ejaculated. It was the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> oh, shit. That's great. In the long run for that one, it was essentially do all the work myself and save on thousands of dollars in labor. Or again, I can have bought some Home Depot Mexicans and probably got done for like 300 bucks. And they would have done all the work for me. Well, I had a Corona. But. Micheladas. No, oh, I'm not Julie. I'm not, doing, I'm not doing some Micheladas. No, no, no. no. Just, they, they come in Budweiser, three packs. It's really simple. You get like two like two of those. You give like six of them. And it only costs you about six bucks, eight bucks. It's under $10 for a three pack of those. Not bad. But yeah, it, it just came to a cost to me for essentially. I do all the sweat labor. I do the backbreaking work. I, I recruited a friend, so he helped me out for a lot of the stuff too. But little by little, I end up doing it, saving a ton of fucking money, and now it's starting to grow back. Like I said, I'm all in. Full lawn, full irrigation, everything redone. Under $400. Just the sod alone, just the purchase of it, would have been between $900 and $1,200. That's not counting... You have to buy a sod cutter and pull up the layer of dirt and all that shit on the ground first. I would still have to do all the pickaxing, irrigation repairs, sprinkler installation, everything else. I have to get all that done. I'd still have to rewater the whole lawn. I then also have to buy nutrient to go on top of the soil to bring the soil pH balance back, not like your mom's vagina, and also have to get a nutrient to be able to sustain life. Because if I don't, I'm going to put $900 to $1,000 worth of salt on top of fucking burnt ass soil and it's all going to fry and die instantly. And they got to start back over from square one. So, for me, sweat labor, sweat equity, all kind of bullshit. And again, it's not that I enjoy do- I fucking hate landscaping. I also hate paying for something I can do myself. And I'm super cheap. So, I will spend... What well, would be time relaxing and just unwinding from the day, and I'll spend it getting my frustration out on a pickaxe and a shovel and screaming, and apparently standing like a fucking asshole in sprinklers in the middle of the fucking evening. But that that inevitably is what I've done, and now it's come time to just sit and wait and watch and see. Like that's what I've got to get done. You're like, literally gonna watch the grass grow. Quite literally, watch the grass grow. All right. I walk out every morning, kind of see if it's grown a little bit, and it kind of has, which is kind of exciting, kind of not, because, like I said, it, as of this weekend, the seeds went down. A few days later, I've got sproutlings, but I don't know if that's because I watered the dirt a week beforehand, so that whatever was in there could be growing now. Got it kind of flooded a little bit. It's drowning. It, it has been a little bit. I'm afraid there's fucking thumb fucking thick rooted weeds are growing back. And that's going to be are a gonna, Those bitch. are going to grow back. It's I'm, really hard to prefer, perfectly get them all out. Yeah, it's going to be a bitch. And I, I bought a, a stake tool. Like you, It's a big fucking steel pipe that's got a bunch of nails at the bottom of it. And you stab it into the middle of the weed. And then you step on it. And then you turn it. And you pop it up and it pulls the weed out. Yeah, my old roommate just did that because he was putting like gravel, like he's putting like some floor plates or whatever. So he like he dig, dug all that up. He's sticking it, in, he's turning it, and then he put like rocks and then sand. And he put like stones on top of like stepping stones. Nice. Yeah. You see, I'm not doing that shit. It's I- not even at all. It's not level whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, but see, eventually it should kind of even out a little bit more. And it's never going to be level unless you get it close to that now, but. I mean, I've watched a lot of, like, Property Brothers and DIY shit on HGTV. It's very hilly. He should have got, like, a level and put it like... Yeah, well, he should dig it out and redo it. But he'll, he'll get there. And uh, we're going to take a second here. We're going to pay some bills and get an ad in here. So give us a second. We'll be right back for you. 
Don't forget to go to thehermanjames.com, sign up and subscribe for the newsletter, and also get registered to win our up coming giveaway next week we have a giveaway coming from one of our prize sponsors this guy's company started his own company is giving us product to give away make sure you slide into them dms i know i'm white but i'm still saying it slide into that subscription button get on the list get registered to win uh the winner will be announced at the end in two weeks so get registered find out what's coming out next week and then then two weeks we'll just give that away for you we'll mail it out to the winner of the drawing again the hermanjames.com on the homepage. you have that subscribe button hit subscribe put an email address and your phone number we will tell you who is going to be the winner here in two weeks don't forget the hermanjames.com and subscribe All right, now I want to thank Russell for coming out for us tonight, having some uh, good t- conversations, good talks. We have uh, some scotch out here. We're doing the uh, good scotches out here. We also have some sponsored beverages coming our way here soon, so we'll be having another sponsored taste test. We are doing both hard liquor and beer, but uh, as for tonight, I want to thank Russell. Russell, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. It's always a pleasure. Always nice to have you around. Can't wait to have you out here next time. But uh, as for right now, we're going to say goodbye to Russell. Thanks, Russell. Peace. Irrigation irritation. I went into this project thinking it was going to be a quick fix and being able to essentially know what I'm doing and if I don't know what I'm doing to YouTube it like I tell everyone to do and it turns out that the fucking assholes that owned this property before I did were a bunch of fucking idiots and I understand that YouTube wasn't a thing 30 years ago 20 years ago even 10 years ago it wasn't as big as it is now but I grew up in a world where I wanted to build cars and race cars and amp them up and there weren't internet forums and there weren't YouTube videos around where I want to do things so I found the right people I did the right thing these fucks chose it upon themselves to do the wrong thing which should have taken me easily just one weekend to undo their fuck up took me a fucking month to do the right thing the right way to make sure that it won't fuck up again and the long of the short of this is it's not guaranteed to be foolproof because I didn't undo all their fuck ups I couldn't undo all the plumbing, all the piping, all the irrigation to re-plumb it because that would take me even longer to do. Honestly, I probably should have because then I know I've done it and I do it right because I'm fucking lazy, but I'm fucking efficient. I'm an efficient lazy person because I don't want to redo the same thing twice. Do it right the first time and never have to worry about it because the worst thing that would happen to me is I run over a sprinkler head of the goddamn lawnmower, which is on me. Not because a fucking pipe exploded because you're fucking assholes want to spare yourself three fucking dollars on the linear fucking foot of PVC to cost me a thousand fucking man hours to redo your fuck up. So if you own a home, if you're upgrading your home, if you are looking to change things and modify things, do it right the first time. You can cut corners here and there on small things, on making sure you do it quick and efficient, but don't do it on the big things, the big ticket items. The fucking lawn irrigation system, it cost $5 for 10 feet of PVC for the right thickness and grade. It cost $2.50 for the shitty version. So you mean to tell me you were willing to save a few fucking dollars and then redig and redo the whole fucking thing again? And if not, you're willing to waste the fucking water going everyone spend more money than doing it right the fucking first time? You lazy piece of shit. You cost me my free time because I 
am a fucking weekend warrior, I'll do it right. I'll do it correctly and redo your fuck ups. But the fact that I had to redo so many of these fucking problems is ridiculous. Do it right the first fucking time. If you're gonna watch HGTV and think you're a fucking weekend warrior, make sure you know what you're getting into before you do it. Because if you don't, you're fucking someone up in the long run. And if you're doing a rental home and you're trying to make sure you're right for your own fucking people that are renting it for you, Fuck you. You know they're going to fuck it up. So why not do it right the first time to make sure if they do fuck it up, you don't have to worry about it. And if you're that fucking piece of shit, who's going to put a band-aid on a fucking house trying to sell? Fuck you. I hope you get fucking raped on a commission by a shitty fucking realtor because you deserve it. The moral compass on your shit points south. Just like the mom you had on your fucking dad sucking dicks all over the neighborhood. You deserve it fucking asshole because of you people have to fucking spend their hard time and money on your fuck ups just like your mom spends on a fucking neighbor you fucking bastard you deserve what you get long and short do the right thing the first time get educated be smart about it save yourself the fucking money save your fucking next person who buys your home your car fuck it if you're in Mexico probably buying your kids save them the time of training them right Save them how to fix your shit. Do it right the first time and be done. No heartache, no bullshit. Spend the extra money, learn the knowledge, do this shit the right way, and don't fucking irritate me, because I've had it. Well, that's all the time I've got today for this episode. Make sure to check me out on the No Phony Podcast Network. That's nophonynetwork.com. Check out Jay Ray and the Politics for Dummies. That's a hilarious show. You got Loop Dog on there being a fucking crazy beast. We got tons of other guys. We got some nominated for the best sports podcast in the nation. So get on there, check these guys out, see what you're doing. Also, check out the Shots for Likes podcast. A bunch of drunken Irishmen on the East Coast doing some fucked up things. Uh, I don't know. There, there might be some butt play in there too. I I can't listen to it sober, so I gotta drink while I'm doing because I feel that FOMO kicking in. Don't forget to check me out on my own website, thehermanjames.com. Make sure you go back in there to subscribe, become a member, check out some behind-the-scenes footage. We've got some uh, bloopers coming out there, as well as some live recordings that we'll see us being kind of idiots in the uh, studio here, as well as signing up for the giveaway. We've got giveaways coming out in two weeks from our sponsors. They were nice enough to donate some free stuff for us, so slide in there, get that set up for you. Get the email on that list. Make sure you know what's coming up and what's being given away. Other than that, make sure you check us out on all of our social media. I am on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on MySpace. Yep, MySpace again. I'm also on Instagram. Our own website. Check me at everyone to go to. It's The Rant with Herman James and friends. Shoot me an email at the rant with Herman James at gmail.com. Can't wait to be in your ears next week. Thanks, guys.